So I like to talk about um, RAM. So as you know, RAM is uh, one of the key, uh, key criteria when it comes to performance of a desktop or laptop or any uh, computer. So now let's uh, go through this. Uh, we'll start from uh, the very beginning and explain RAM. So um, we have here two different formats or sizes. Um, we call it form factor of RAM. And we call it a RAM stick, right? So here's a RAM stick. So if you look at this closely, so when you're handling RAM, you usually kind of hold it like that. So we have a circuit board, a printed circuit board mounted with mounted with uh, with um, uh, RAM chips you can see the RAM modules here and this is called a DIM, a dual inline memory module. And if you look closely, you will see there is a notch. So this notch here, this notch here, uh, helps uh, when seating the RAM. So it helps us seat the RAM properly on the motherboard. And also, uh, we can look at uh, in this RAM module so there is a, a label and it says 2 gig that's the size and it's also it also says PC3 uh, PC3 is usually uh, it represents uh, DDR that is double uh, sorry dual uh, DDR let me get to DDR uh, next so that's DDR3, that's why it's called PC3. And uh, so obviously you have the manufacturer's uh, model number and some serial numbers and so on. And also you can see we have a whole line of pins. So these pins are how the memory um, transfers data uh, with uh, the motherboard, right? So this is a memory SIM, uh, sorry, a memory DIM. It's a DIM, not a SIM. SIM is an older uh, design of memory. Uh, SIM was single inline memory module. And this is a DIM, a dual inline memory module. Um, usually the uh, memory kind of corresponds, the memory design, the number of pins and this notch corresponds with the type of motherboard that this memory will uh, fit into. So um, we will also look at how uh, we can install this on a desktop motherboard. I'll show you that. So um, then we'll talk about how these notches here, how it helps us uh, lock the memory in place. And so this is a DIM and these two smaller uh, memory modules kind of half the size of the dim is called a so dim right so so dim and these are usually found in um, laptops and uh, small form factor um, desktops like the ultra minis and so on um, we'll also look at how that fits uh, how it can be installed on a in a laptop or a smaller form factor motherboard so the take homes from this um, video would be um, so memory chip um, you know printed circuit board uh, the notch sometimes you have uh, one notch or more than one um, the size which is called the form factor the size of the memory dim and this is called uh, a dim uh, memory stick and also the PC3 stands for DDR3 so we have 
DDR3, DDR4. So obviously DDR4 is uh, faster than DDR3. Um, so the motherboard design would would dictate what kind of memory chip uh, is compatible. And um, yes, so this one, this memory chip is made by Samsung, and then also it's a it has an HP part number, so it came off an HP uh, desktop. Um, it has a certain speed, a PC3. Uh, we can go into those details about the speed and uh, what this uh, PC3 uh, means. And also you might want to know uh, how many pins are on this uh, memory module. You can talk about that too. And here's the back of the memory module. Here's the, the front and this usually uh, slots into the motherboard like this. I'll show you that in the next uh, or in this video uh, at the end. So okay, um, so we have a, a desktop um, and we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to install this uh, dim memory module. So we're going to use uh, the white slots. And I'm going to take the memory module like that and align it with the notch, this notch here, uh, align to the notch down there. And then I'm going to bring it down and it fits like that. So you see the little, these two clips have to be uh, open. So it'll take the memory module and then you align it with the slot. And then once it's in there, you have to press it down. You have to use a little bit of force. So when you press it down, these two, these two locks will come together. And you press it down well, it'll then lock in place. And there, the locks have... Uh, so the locks kind of grab these notches on the side that's how the lock comes and uh, locks it and holds the memory module in place so there you go that's how we install the module so sometimes you might install uh, two dims or in this case a single dim and as you can see we have four slots and depending on your motherboard's uh, design it'll tell you how many uh, how many gigs of memory you can install. All right, so so here's a small form factor desktop, and here's the there are two memory slots here on the motherboard that takes a sodium. So, as I showed you before, a sodium is the smaller form factor of uh, memory. And as you can see, uh, the slot has a notch over here, and that notch should align with our with our memory uh, car uh, memory sticks uh, notch. So it goes in, and you can also see there are two clips that will hold the memory uh, module in place. So I'm going to show you how we insert the memory uh, stick. So we align it with that uh, notch and it kind of sits like that uh, at like a 45 degree angle. Sorry, not 45, maybe like 30 degrees. Anyway, and then once it's placed in there gently, you get to push it down and you can see these two clips locked in place. And now the memory is secure and we can go ahead and use it.